Hey everyone, this is Fritz Westover with Virtual Viticulture Academy and Westover Vineyard Advising. And I'm in a vineyard in the mountains in Georgia today. And we're talking a little bit about canopy management. The grower still has a little bit of leaf removal to do in here. Come on in. Around their flowers, uh, which are rather clusters at this point, small berry clusters, to help get spray penetration into the canopy, into the fruit zone. But there's something else that's happening simultaneously. If you look at these shoots, because of all the rain they've had here this year, they're really just going ballistic. And the question that I get a lot from growers is, when is it a good time to start hedging the canopy? Now, just so you know, there's several ways to approach high vigor situations. You can build a taller trellis to accommodate that canopy. Uh, you could use a French method known as palisage, which Cornell University is working on, why, where you would basically take the shoots and wrap them around the top wires, okay? M maybe in one direction, maybe in two. And that would slow down the shoot tip growth but would uh, significantly reduce the number of lateral shoots that grow. And if you don't know what a lateral is, come on in here and I'll show you what a lateral is. A lateral is a shoot that's growing out of the side of a, of a shoot and those laterals can start to take off when you hedge your top of shoot. But not everyone likes palisage. There are some advantages and disadvantages to it that I won't go into in this video. I'm gonna talk about topping today or hedging. And one of the things you wanna make sure you take into consideration when hedging is first you've got to position all the shoots into your wires, right? Because if you leave shoots hanging out, if the shoot's hanging out into the aisle like this one here, and you have a side hedger, it'll hedge that shoot off and then it can't ripen the fruit very well, okay? Because it doesn't have 17 to 23 leaves on it. And we need a full canopy of three to four feet to ripen that fruit on the cluster. So if you notice, these shoots on this Merlot variety are still growing upright but eventually they're gonna do what I call the taco canopy. So eventually these shoots are gonna get heavy enough that they fall down on their own weight, okay? And produce that kind of upside down taco. And what happens if you go in too late and trim it, come on in here. This leaf area on the inside of this tunnel, inside the taco, all those leaves turn yellow. And if you come and hedge it later, you have a, a canopy that's been compromised. The leaves are turning yellow. They've been shaded excessively. So we wanna make sure we leave enough time to do the canopy management, to get the growth that we need. Try not to promote excessive growth, but if you're in a vineyard where you have rain and you're not really promoting the growth, but it's natural due to the season, you might have to either do some palisage or some hedging. So what I like to do is tell my growers when, this, when the shoots start coming down and falling about 45 degrees, you can come through easily with a sickle bar hedger and hedge those off during that time. If you wait until they fall all the way down, it's difficult to, to hedge. So you wanna get that timing right, and my general advice is to wait as long as you can, because as soon as you start hedging, that's where these lateral shoots really start growing out of the canopy, and some varieties push laterals more heavily than others. So take those things into consideration when you're topping. Think about if there's alternatives to topping, such as reducing shoot vigor so you don't need to top, so you don't push the laterals, because laterals can block your fruit zone, block sprays, and could um, act as a sink for resources when you're trying to put the resources into the fruit. So I hope these couple of tips on hedging were helpful. And uh, if you have any more questions, just visit us at virtualviticultureacademy.com and check out some of the other grower guides and videos we have there.